Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then hello, my name is Jess, we talk a lot about fashion over here, a few vlogs thrown in, bit of travelling, bit of everything, basically just talking all about living your best life. So if that's a bit of you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Now today's video is going back to the roots of my channel and we're going to be doing a capsule wardrobe, but not just any capsule wardrobe, I decided to pull together 30 pieces from my wardrobe that I would consider to be my absolute core essential things that if I had nothing else in my wardrobe, I could make outfits forever and be happy. And the things that I consider to be like a base of every single outfit. So whenever I go into my wardrobe to put things together, nine times out of 10, in fact, probably 10 times out of 10, something from this selection is being worn. That being said, we've got a range of tops, we've got blazers, we've got dresses, we've got active wear, we've got coats, which aren't on the rail because they don't fit, this rail's too small. Then we've got some bags and some shoes. So really well-rounded to give you a look at what I would consider to be my year-round capsule wardrobe. So some of these pieces get mixed and matched in throughout the seasons. There there is, to be honest, quite a, like I would say all of these things get worn by me in every season, apart from obviously like the coats and stuff don't get worn as much in summer. They do sometimes come out depending on the weather, but these are like my absolute core essential things. Mine is a trench coat because my trench coat is about to go to the dry cleaners, it's in a bag by the front door, and I've just thought about it. Probably should be in this video, but it's not for that reason. Obviously, capsule wardrobes are personal preference, so what I see as being an essential in mine may not be something that you consider an essential in yours. Maybe you like a little bit more print, maybe you like a bit more colour. Totally your call, but this is personally what I wear and pick out all the time. You could decide that you actually really want maybe a pink blazer in there, maybe your coat of choice is cream instead of grey. Whatever it is for you that you consider to be your absolute absolute essentials for your capsule wardrobe, this is mine. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video and I'm gonna start with the clothing, then we're gonna hit coats and accessories and shoes. We're gonna start on the end here with tops. Now, I have quite a few tops that I would consider to be ones that I wear all the time and I don't think that these are gonna be a surprise. So first up, we have a bodysuit in two colors. Now, I really like these bodysuits, not only because they look really great and they're a good staple in my wardrobe, they're also a good base layer when it's really cold outside. So on days like today where it's like five degrees and it's quite chilly, I'd put one of these on under a jumper just as an extra layer of warmth. So this is what they look like. I've got a black and I've got a white. These are my absolute essential tops in my wardrobe. I would replace these over anything else in a heartbeat and they get worn and washed so often that I'm actually surprised I didn't have to pull them out of the wash basket today. But these are from Abercrombie and they're double lined at the front which makes them super comfortable. Really good because you can't see anything. Like you could wear a bra under these and you can't see it. The back a little bit but not really. Um, but the front you can't see anything. You can't see any shapes. Well you can see a shape but you can't see like color of certain things. Um, really comfortable, little cap sleeved, tight fitting, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, so flattering, I live in these. If you've seen my Instagram or any other things on this account, you will know for a fact that these get worn all the time. I am on the hunt to try and see if they have any other colours that I could maybe get my hands on. I know they do like a soft grey one, which I really want to get, but it's always out of stock. Um, but they're just thong styles, which is my personal preference for bodysuits. I don't like any VPLs or anything. Um, and like I said, really comfortable, really flattering. And I wear both of these all the time, genuinely all the time. Um, they're probably the most worn thing in my entire wardrobe. Mine is like leggings, which we'll get into later on. If you're wondering, I buy those in a size small and I'm a size eight. Then an essential that I would say has come into my wardrobe over the last maybe like 18 months, but has been quite a solid staple is a waistcoat. And I really love these because not only are they good for dressing up if you want to look a little bit smarter, but they're also a good option if you are going for like drinks or something. You can wear them with satin skirts, jeans, tailored trousers. The list is endless, but they're a really good one to have for smartening up an outfit a little bit. So I thought I'd include it because it does get worn quite a lot for dinners and various things like that, but also for every day. If I'm going for like a smarter meeting, I'll pop it on with some jeans or something. Um, and I think in summer, these are gorgeous with satin skirts and little sandals. But this one's just from ASOS, so really inexpensive. I've got a size eight. Um, and you can find waistcoats like this all over the internet. I recommend having a look on places like Vintage because there's always a million and one waistcoats on there too. But just for personal preference, I quite like the fact this one is to the hip, just because I think it's quite nice leaving it open and just styling preference 
preferences for me. I really like it being a little bit longer, but maybe you prefer cropped or something. Um, but I just think they're a great little addition, great for genuinely everything. I was thinking about putting a corset in, like a corset style top, but I do think this one's a little bit more versatile when it comes to styling for different occasions. So that's why we've gone for the waistcoat. Then this one will come as no surprise to anybody because this has been a staple for, I wanna say, maybe since like 2017. So it's been quite a while. If I've done any capsule wardrobes for autumn, winter or spring, guaranteed these have been included. And they're just little roll neck tops from Primark, actually. Um, they've been in my wardrobe for a really long time. The black one is the only one that's become slightly damaged. So I just had to buy a new one because I managed to rip a giant hole in the back of the arm that was not savable. I did try, um, but they're about eight pounds and they're just really nice fine knit ribbed roll necks. These are essential for me when it comes to the colder months because I love chucking these on with any kind of bottom and a big coat, preferably a belted coat or one with like a big chunky scarf. And they're just a really great layer. I absolutely love them. They look great. This one's actually from Mango, so it's slightly different, but they're a great option for just wearing with some tailored trousers or something. And they are just timeless in a wardrobe. I buy these in an extra small. And like I said, they're just a really fine knit rib. Absolutely love them. I get these out so often, it's crazy. I have a gray one as well. And I just, I live in them when it gets to this time of year. So if you've seen any videos of me, nine times out of 10, this will probably be included because they're just, they're an absolute essential for me. And I wanted to include the brand names in this video, just to show you that you don't need to be shopping in these expensive big shops to put together a capsule wardrobe, because there's such a big misconception that everything in a capsule needs to be expensive to be really great quality, or it needs to be from higher end brands, and it absolutely doesn't. Yes, there's things like Abercrombie in mine. I deem Abercrombie to be a good elevated basics shop. If I need basics, a lot of the time I do head to there. You'll notice there's a few pieces from there within this video, but I do really like brands like ASOS and Primark as well for those essential pieces. You'll notice that literally everything in this video is not designer or anything high price point apart from um, a couple of the bags and shoes, but that's because genuinely, I just shop high street most of the time and I find really great pieces there. Speaking of Primark, I thought I'd pop this jumper in. This is one of the jumpers that they normally have folded on the tables in Primark and it was 13 pounds, but the shape of this is one that I would consider to be a staple for me because it's got the really nice crew neck it's a bit oversized and it just it's one of those fits that is just timeless and goes with so many different types of outfits I picked it up in this olivey green because I'm trying to lean away from having so much black and white all the time and green is quite a nice earthy neutral which is great for adding in if you are like me and you do tend to stick to your creams and blacks and greys I just think adding neutrals like this or you know the kind of softer neutrals or the kind of rusty tones is a really good way to do it so green for me is one that gets added in here and there I tend to opt for the bright greens when it gets to summer Summer, but for winter and stuff this kind of tone this is great for styling with jeans satin skirts shorts etc um, and it's just a really good option so I wanted to include it because Primark is a great one for little knits like this that are inexpensive but will be in your wardrobe for ages I'll leave a link down below as well to a debobbler which if you've not heard of a debobbler before it's basically like a little mini machine that turns on and you just rub it over your jumpers and it shaves off all of the bobbles so it just helps clothes to look brand new again this I don't know if you can see on the camera but does actually need a slight debobble it's getting a little bit bobbly at the moment but yeah really great thing to have in your wardrobe if you like a capsule wardrobe and you want to keep your clothes high quality for as long as possible. Then we're going back to Abercrombie for my most worn jumper ever that I actually love so much. I bought a black version in the Black Friday sales because it's just the best knit I think I've ever owned in my entire life. Um, and it's just this really gorgeous roll neck. The sleeves, I mean, it literally needs a wash. Like you can see the sleeves are half rolled. There's a bit of makeup on the neckline because I wore it the other day. But um, it's a really good option for, again, that oversized fit. I'm such an oversized girl, which is a really important thing to know when it comes to putting together your capsule wardrobe. Think about whether you are someone who likes an oversized fit, a tighter fit, whether you are someone who likes shirts more than you like jumpers. You need to kind of work out all the pieces that you wear all the time to put yours together in a way that's gonna really suit you. I've actually got a video which I'll leave linked, which is all about kind of 
finding your base style. Um, so I'll leave it linked if you wanna check that one out because it gives some really great tips. But this to me is a core and I absolutely love it. This they have again in so many colors and stuff because Abercrombie just nail the basics. They know what works and they stick to it. And like I said, I already own it in black. I love that it's got this high neck detail. So it's not a roll neck, so it's not too big and chunky, but it's got the high neck, which is really nice and flattering, really comfortable. And it's washed so beautifully every time so far. Um, so I consider this to be a really good staple for me. And I just don't think you can beat a cream knit. I think cream knits are just so easy to put with absolutely everything and super timeless. So I highly recommend adding a cream knit to your wardrobe, no matter what your style is, because they are an essential. Then for me, I love a good stripe. This is a kind of piece of interest into a very plain wardrobe. Stripes and leopard print are pretty much the only time that print gets added into my life. And I really love both. I don't have any leopard print in this video purely because I was thinking my absolute core staple can't live without pieces which granted there is a few of those that are leopard print in my life however i would deem this to be slightly more versatile when it comes to going with everything else so this one is just from naked it's kind of old again a nice oversized fit but just adding in the stripe because i wanted that piece of interest that works into my wardrobe i would suggest sticking to those classic silhouettes that you know you like if you're going for a bit of print or interest just because then you know that you're going to be comfortable in the style you're just adding a little bit of something else then moving on to lower halves first up is a satin skirt now i never used to be a satin skirt gal recently absolutely love them can't live without them i think they're a great piece into a wardrobe this one is the one that i chose to pop in for my year-round capsule it's just a little cream number because i think cream is just so timeless goes with everything can be worn in so many different ways i actually wore this recently with the waistcoat for an event with some little heels and then on christmas day i wore it with the cream jumper and just slippers to be honest i was going to put shoes on but i was at home so it's fine and they're just a really good essential for dressing up and dressing down so like i said dress it up with a waistcoat dress it down with a jumper you could pop it with a t-shirt or something and some chunky boots there's many ways to style them and they are a great piece to add i actually picked up my black one from Vinted so I highly recommend checking out those secondhand websites because there's always a good bargain on there mine was five pounds and it's a vintage one perfect condition so definitely worth looking at but yeah need a satin skirt in there for my style just works really well and it goes with everything it's a nice little addition to wearing just jeans and stuff speaking of jeans we've got two different styles here that I really wanted to mention because these are two of my all-time favorite pairs of denim I have avoided putting black denim in this video just because there's other black trousers and these are my more reached for pairs so we've got the weekday rows which you will have seen a bazillion times online from me i wear my weekday row jeans all the time i've got black i've got this color and i've got a cream pair they are just an essential they're ultra high waisted so really good if you've got a longer torso or if you just like them to come a bit higher and i actually get a 32 leg which is a leg size up for me just so they're a little bit longer and it means they elongate the leg when you're wearing pointed boots but they're also good for just bunching up over like trainers and stuff as well and then this pair is the favorite cut from and other stories i only own them in this cream like ecru color but such a timeless style. I like that they're a little bit cropped, so it's a bit of interest, but it's something different, and they're just an essential pair. Other than these, I love the Levi 501s. They are, again, super timeless. I own the Levi 501s in a couple of shades, but these are the two that I thought I would include in this video because the cream is my all-time go-to cream pair. These are my all-time go-to blue pair, and my black Levi 501s tend to be the ones that I go for as well. I definitely think finding the right shade of blue jean is crucial to a capsule wardrobe there are so many shades of blue and what might be my preference might be completely different to yours you might prefer a really dark wash blue someone else might prefer a really bleached blue it's completely personal preference and i have found that i tend to gravitate more towards the mid bleach blue and that's what seems to go best with the rest of my wardrobe it complements my skin tone the best etc then the next thing is some leather trousers i absolutely love leather trousers i've been wearing them for years now and i just think they are so great for mixing Mixing out your wardrobe and taking you away from the tailored trousers or the jeans giving a little bit of interest to an outfit and like I said before they just go with everything so these tend to get worn quite a lot with the basic t-shirts that I've got on here also with the jumpers and stuff sometimes just the bodysuit with a big coat over the top looks so simple and classic and they're just a timeless piece in my
my wardrobe to be honest I live in them if you see my Instagram all of this you will have seen a bazillion times before because I just wear it all so much but leather trousers had to be included because three seasons out of the year they tend to be my most worn trousers the only time they don't really come out is summer however I live in England so we do tend to need things like this in summer especially with like a little crop top and some sandals or something kind of looks quite cute um, especially like you know the Birkenstock Bostons love Birkenstock Bostons with these and an oversized t-shirt 10 out of 10 then we've got a classic pair of black tailored trousers these are a straight leg pair from H&M and I find I gravitate more towards the straight leg at the moment the pair I've got on right now are more of like a cigarette style don't tend to go for them as often to be honest I might sell these ones because I just don't really get all that much wear out of them because I do tend to go for this pair a lot more often. I love them, I think they're great, they go with everything, dressed up and down really easily. If you're someone who works in an office, they're really easy to style with like a roll neck or something to look a bit smarter, but equally if you wanna pop them with trainers and a like bodysuit or something, 10 out of 10. Um, I actually mix and match these with pretty much everything on this rail. I've worn them with everything. I love wearing them with the waistcoat and just some trainers or something if I'm dressing it up for going for drinks with the girls or something else. And they're just a really easy classic piece. Now for dresses, I popped two in, which are definitely more summer appropriate. However, I could wear the black one with tights and chunky boots and like a big jumper and a blazer or something, and it could look really cute. But I thought I'd include this because this is a year round capsule wardrobe and these dresses are great for spring into summer and then summer into autumn. So they do get worn for a large portion of the year. They're also great essentials if I'm going on a trip. I pack them every single time without fail. And this is what they look like. Both are actually from Zara. I find Zara dresses a really good length if you are a shorter girl like me, I'm only five foot four. This one is a more cotton style, straight neck across the top, very, kind of 90s baby doll which I really liked so you've got the thin straps here and then the back is a low back with a little strap across it really gorgeous style just very simple very minimal and goes with absolutely everything so I've worn this with heels and a blazer I've worn it with my chunky boots and a big cardigan over the top like there's multiple ways to wear this kind of style and then this one is a very very similar style however it's got the crisscross detail at the back and it's a cream satin number this one is much more appropriate for to be honest, in the height of summer, I've worn it with just sandals and something like that, like a linen blazer or something, but it's also good for dressing up. And I wanted to show you these because not only are they gorgeous dresses, but they're very similar in style. And I think once you find that style that you really love, you can kind of make it work for you and make it work for your wardrobe. So I knew that this style really worked for me. So I've got the black cotton one that's more every day. And then we've got the satin cream one. So hitting multiple occasions with just two dresses, but I know that the style works for me. So I've gone for two. Then it wouldn't be right to have this video without adding a couple of blazers in. So I've just picked out two of my most worn. These are both fairly old in my wardrobe i've had them for quite a while so this one is an mns just classic number mns i really don't think you should sleep on mns had great basics i absolutely love shopping there for basic pieces recently i'd say in the last year i've really noticed myself going there a little bit more often i highly recommend checking in store because of the textures and the quality and that kind of thing but online they have a massive selection as well and they're really great for those key core pieces that you want in your wardrobe. So I've got this classic black blazer, which I absolutely love, really gorgeous structured fit, but a little bit oversized. And then this one is slightly different. So again, same as the dresses, once something works, just do it in every color. So I've got this one, which is slightly more woolen, a little bit warmer and a bit thicker, but it's in a really nice soft gray. Again, double breasted, a little bit oversized, structured in the shoulders, and they both just come out quite often with various different outfits because they're just really easy to style and when I say various outfits I literally mean if I could wear nothing else in my life but this rail I could mix and match and create so many different outfits that I know will work really well for my style which is kind of the whole point of a capsule wardrobe you want everything to be really easy to mix and match and really easy to just go in and put everything together and create several different looks that's kind of the whole point of them. Then I thought I would include a tracksuit because I wear hoodies and sweatpants quite a lot. The sweatpants are actually tucked behind here because I run out of hangers, which is the same reason the coats aren't high because the rails are too small. This is from What The Brand and this tracksuit is so nice and snuggly. I love it so much. I've worn this to death. 
and it's still great condition so I thought I'd include it and tracksuits to me are something that I deem to be an essential they might not be in your wardrobe and that's totally fine maybe you just want a capsule hoodie maybe you just want the sweatpants totally up to you but I do wear these quite a lot whether it's for traveling whether it's for going to see friends and we're going to the cinema and we want to be cozy whether it's just going to the shops coming out of swimming in the evenings etc this gets worn so often and I wear it a lot as separate or together so sometimes the sweatpants with one of the bodysuits and my puffer coat and some trainers to dress it up a little bit or I wear the hoodie just with leggings or something various different ways to style but I do wear this quite a lot so I thought I would include it because it does count as part of a capsule wardrobe and I just I get so much wear out of this then last but not least on the clothing before we hit accessories and stuff I thought I would include my core gym kit now I actually have a whole capsule gym wardrobe if you want to check that out I filmed it not too long ago and it's just got all of the pieces in that I wear all the time the brands I recommend the styles I recommend the styles that I reach for quite a lot and this is just a really good option for not only wearing for the gym, but also wearing in everyday life. So this little vest is a sports bra crop. It's the Align High Neck from Lululemon. And it's a great option because not only is it good for the gym because it's like a sports bra, but it's also a good option if you just wanna wear it with jeans and some trainers or something, like it can be worn as a top. And likewise with the leggings, the leggings are the Align, obviously 100% had to include the Align, they're my absolute favorite. But these are great for wearing to the gym. So I could wear this as a set. I could wear this as a set with a trench coat over the top and some trainers. I could wear the leggings with the hoodie I could wear the leggings with a jumper there's various ways to style them and they are great for not only wearing for that specific need of the gym but they're also great for incorporating into the wardrobe too which is part of why I wanted to pop them in because I wanted to explain and show you how things like gym kit can also incorporate into a capsule wardrobe really nicely not just for the gym now for coats I've got two options in this video that I wanted to share with you because they are two of my most worn and two styles that I seem to gravitate to quite often the first is this big long line puffer I personally prefer a longer puffer coat I think they're just a little bit warmer and cozier this gets thrown on 24 7 for pretty much everything it's a bit more of a dress down style so I do wear it for things like going to Tesco's or going to the gym or going to the shops or whatever it is that's a little bit more low-key this tends to get worn quite a lot again preference on the length and stuff I just really liked the black one I love the fact it's got the big cozy hood I love that it's big and cozy and longer and I think puffer coats are essential in a wardrobe if you are someone who goes outside quite a lot and needs to be cozy I personally absolutely love mine. I've got a couple of different styles, but that's the one that I wear the most. And then another coat that I wanted to include is a long line structured coat. Now I've got a couple of different shades. I've got a black one and a cream one, etc. But the gray is the one that I gravitate to the most often. I just find that gray is a really nice way to break up an all black or an all cream or whatever it is outfit and give a little bit of something else. So this one is a mango number and it's just got really gorgeous structured shoulders, a little bit longer line, double breasted. And I think structured coats are great to have because like I said with the puffer coat the puffer coat is more of a dress down one whereas this one is much better for if you're going out for an evening occasion maybe it's that you've got to go to the office and you need something a bit smarter maybe you're going shopping and you want to look a little bit more put together this is a great option so if I could only have two coats I would have a long structured one and I would have a puffer coat without fail they would be the two that I would choose absolutely to round off the video we've got three bags and some shoes so I'll go with shoes first and then we'll share the bag first up a classic pair of white trainers like I've said they go with everything they're just inessential and these are the New Balance 608 I love that they're very simple very minimal they could be worn for pretty much everything apart from I wouldn't recommend running but they're a good everyday trainer for wearing as fashion but also wearing for function as well then we have a pair of everyday boots these are my Doc Martin Jadens I wear them all the time they can be dressed in so many different ways and they're just really comfortable they don't look too casual they're kind of like a smart casual boot so i've worn them for all kinds of occasions but they had to be included because they are my most worn shoe ever then i've got a pointed pair of boots which is another essential of mine these are my go-to whenever there's something a little bit smarter so i've worn them many times with dinner outfits or just dressing up a more casual look to look a little bit smarter but they're just a really nice ankle boot with a little point and a little bit of a heel so killing two birds with one stone and then last on the shoes i really wanted to include a pair of heels because i feel like they are an essential into a wardrobe and I've just got these really classic low slingbacks which are from Marks and Spencers these are actually very new into the wardrobe and I would consider these to be the only heels that I needed to own for everything 
like I could just own this one pair of heels and be satisfied because they're low heels, so they're really comfortable. They're sling backs, so they look a little bit more classy. And they've got this slightly squared off toe with the suede, so cute. I think sling backs are just a great way to get a more chic version of a heel into your wardrobe. And again, they don't feel too dressy, but they feel dressy enough. Then last but not least, we have bags. So I'm just gonna whiz through these. We've got my vintage Gucci bag, which is a really nice soft brown color. This is just a shoulder one that I think is an essential because I wear this all the time. It goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe and I just love the print and the texture I just think it's so timeless and so classic and I absolutely love this I picked this up from eBay if you want to check out my secondhand designer video I'll leave it linked but an absolute essential for me Then we've got my multi-way Songmont bag which I use again all the time This is an essential This one can actually be hooked up the gold bits together to make it into more of like a clutch style You can have it as a shoulder bag like this or it did come with a longer strap as well so you can wear it as a crossbody Great bag for every day. I love the fact that it's really simple and structured. It fits so much in, and it's just a nice classic little black bag that I use all the time. And then last but not least, we have the Uniqlo dumpling bag, which I couldn't resist including because this one gets worn probably more than any other bag in my wardrobe. It's my throw on everyday bag if I'm just running to the shops or the gym or wherever it is, this tends to get thrown on. So it actually is the one that's got stuff in it currently, but I just thought I'd include the black one because the black is the most essential. I do have a couple of different colors, but this fits so much in it that I went traveling around Australia and I would take this bag every day and have like my water my vlog camera my disposable camera my phone my lip gloss my sun cream it had so much fit in this I genuinely don't know how my back didn't break but it's just a classic bag that I know that I need in my wardrobe and that's it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed seeing a well-rounded look at my 30 piece capsule wardrobe with all the things that I would consider to be my essentials I'll link everything within reason down in the description box if the item is older or no longer in stock I'll link something similar for you but hopefully this helped you and inspired you to want to create your own capsule wardrobe obviously like I said capsule wardrobes are really personal so take it as a pinch of salt you might have the same style as me and this might be your dream capsule wardrobe you might be more colorful you might prefer longer dresses etc but your capsule wardrobe just needs to be the core pieces in your wardrobe that you reach for all the time that make your heart happy that make you feel comfortable that go together and that just make you feel really good about yourself so without further ado i'm going to end the video here if you like this kind of video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys